name is Louise Haig and I'm French. Uh, I've been living in Korea for about five years. I started a company about three years ago after working for a global engineering corporation. Uh, and what we do is a building energy analysis. So we analyze the energy consumption of buildings uh, in order to estimate and optimize the energy consumptions of the buildings. Certifiable is a platform that we created uh, that allow uh, architects, construction professionals, uh, to actually uh, est uh, check the energy consumption of their building and to estimate and to optimize the building energy consumption. So when I talk about uh, energy consumption for buildings, it's basically um, the results of a lot of parameters, parameters uh, within the building. So you have lightings, of course, but also the insulation of the buildings. You have the, the efficiency of the heating equipment, of the cooling equipment, of the ventilation system. So what we do is, as analysts, we analyze uh, how those parameters impact and uh, the results of the energy consumption of the buildings, and we try to reduce it by changing the type of lighting, the type of heating system, the type of cooling system. And this is what our platform uh, aims to do, to do it automatically, based on results, based on uh, the data from the projects, to optimize their energy consumption. So, so we already have customers and clients. So we work for Nike, we work for Deloitte, for Converse, for Chanel, uh, for all these uh, brands that already own buildings and operate buildings and are trying not only to reduce their energy consumptions, but to show uh, that they achieved some, some uh, low uh, energy consumption levels. So our customers are those type of brands, so big brands that are trying to reduce the energy consumptions, uh, but also architects and construction professionals that sometimes have to do, have to go for uh, low energy consumption buildings. So for this type of people, uh, this, those type of companies and, and, and people are our main customer target. There are several types of analysis that we do, um, so I just want to uh, go through them. Um, and so the first services, and which is the most crucial, the most important one that we do, is the energy analysis consumption. Uh, so we analyze the energy consumption of a building over a typical year of operation, based on heating system, ventilation system, cooling system, lighting system, and so on. We input, we gather all the data we need to get output, energy consumption, gas, water, uh, electricity of the building. The second one and the, the next type of services include daylighting analysis to analyze in this place, in this room, how much daylight we will have at 4 p.m. tomorrow uh, based on the climate that we had for the last 20 years. And then we can optimize, is this room better to be an office space or is it better to be uh, a studio because it's a bit dark so we could use it as a photo studio like here. The third type of analysis is um, CFD, uh, Computational Fluid Dynamics, to analyze the wind impact on the building. And the fourth type of analysis is the shading analysis. The shading analysis we are trying to see the impact of shading features of the building to see okay you have an overhang on this building but how long should it be in order to provide sufficient shade to this part of the building? And the last is the thermal comfort analysis. So that you can uh, know, depending on what kind of option we are thinking about for the heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. Maybe would your, your feet feel a bit cold in this room uh, during the winter because the heating is provided by uh, a ceiling system and how would it be if we had a heating floor instead? So we can analyze these kind of different options uh, to optimize the design of the buildings. Uh, at the very beginning of uh, when we started our company, we didn't have a very clear vision, uh, to be honest. Uh, we saw there was a market opportunity in our field because we are very uh, specialists for this type of uh, engineering. Uh, so we saw some market opportunity, but since the last two years where our company started to grow, uh, we feel our vision should be to develop not only a platform, not only analysts, uh, analysis services, but also to develop uh, products. And we are thinking about hydrophonic products, so products that are 
uh, related to energy efficiency, that are related to green buildings, uh, and we hired people in Vietnam recently uh, in this uh, ID within to, to grow this ID by maybe producing some products and developing products in Vietnam that could be uh, targeted the market in Seoul or other uh, countries in Asia and Europe. Yes.